everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. This is Jen and I'm so glad that you could join me at my craft table. So today's particular project is going to be using printable vinyl to decorate my joy. Now it's taken me a little bit of time to decide what I wanted to do to decorate this cutie, but I think I have settled on something. I am going to be using the printable vinyl to put a um, image up here on the top and then one on the inside here. Now I did do some test images in Design Space where it was also the front and I've tried a couple of different types of images and I decided that I just wanted something simple and easy. So I went for some spring or summer watercolor flowers. Um, I just thought it might be a little too much to have all of this decorated. Let's talk about the rest of the supplies that you need. In addition to the printable vinyl, which actually, let me show you this. It is a thin sheet of vinyl that goes through your printer. It has a green grid on the back with the Cricut logo. Now in my machine, this grid faces up toward me. So you definitely want to double check your machine settings in your printer to determine whether your paper or your vinyl would go in facing up like this, or if you would have to face it up like that. But this is what I'm going to be using. I also have some scissors. I am going to <coughs> use a brayer to um, brayer down the vinyl to my cutting mat. And then I usually keep my true control knife just at the ready by my glass mat, but I don't know if we'll necessarily need that. We'll probably need our weeding tool to help with some of the outer um, weeding portions. So before we actually start putting anything on to the joy, one thing I would um, that I would really encourage you to do is to use the machine calibration if you haven't done a recent one. So I did a test version earlier and my image came out beautiful but when I went to the cut it is off so the cut is absolutely not any good which told me that i needed to calibrate my machine and i actually haven't calibrated my machine my machine in, in a very long time so i was okay with that and then i will be able to use the bottom portion of this particular um, paper another time but i just wanted to caution you that you might want to double check and see if your machine should be calibrated before you do a print and cut project. I will link that video up here in the corner so that you can see how quick and easy it is to calibrate your machine. Okay, so by the way, if you hear joyful children in the background being very loud, yeah, there's a lot of video games happening and of course they choose the time when mom is video recording and it is really hard to get them to settle but this is the only time I have. So let's go ahead and hop into Design Space and take a look at the design that we're using today. Here I am in Design Space, and what I did is I brought up a new project canvas. And this particular template, I was very happy to find in the images portion of Design Space. So if you go to images and you go to uh, type in Cricut Joy, decoration setup, you do need to scroll down past all of the little cuties and logo type things like that. And then somewhere down here, you will see right here, this Cricut um, Joy Machine Decoration Guide. And then you'll just hit um, add to canvas. I already have it on my canvas, so I'm not gonna re-add it, but that is where you would find it. And so what this is showing you right now, this is showing you the front of the machine. Now I'm not gonna be decorating the front of the machine. Um, in fact, if I want, I can just go ahead and hide that. This is the, this is the bottom um, of the machine, you know, when you open the door and you put your mat down here. So this is where the, 
the little notches where when you fold it back up, some of the machine needs to sit into a groove. And then these are those three little raised bumps. So I measured a little bit earlier today and I found that from that little notch on the left to the little notch on the right, it is about five and a half inches wide. So from right here all the way to right here is about five and a half inches wide. I'm not so concerned with the width this way or the length this way. So I'm just gonna move this over to the side for right now. The next thing that I want to show you is my how I brought my image in because I did find my image in Creative Fabrica. And what I did is I did upload image and I went to my computer and I did browse and I just found the image that I wanted and I selected selected that and it brings it in like this and of course it's a large complex image so it does take a moment okay so once this pulls up on the screen I'm just going to hit continue and this will take this to the next screen so at the next screen you'll have some options you can do multiple cut layers which I definitely do not want that is an extremely complex image I'm just gonna go ahead and click flat graphic and this is great for print and cut I will click continue. It does want you to name it. You can change the name or you can leave it the way it is. It will populate on your screen. So I'll just put joy flowers. Okay, and then I will click upload. And it is a large image with some complexity. So it does take a moment. Once the image comes into design space, we actually, it comes in very large, so we actually have to resize it down. One of the quickest ways to do that is to come up here to the size uh, boxes, and I'm just going to click on that, and I want to bring it down to a width of five and a half. Since I know that that is an area, and I, oh, this is unlocked. That's why that did that. Let me undo that particular width change okay so this is locked which is what i want now i will come over here and click 5.5 and tab over and there you go it sizes it down for us now what i like is here on the bottom part of my machine i'm going to bring this down here that you can see that this particular design, if I raise it up, I can bring it right down and nestle it in between those two notches, and it really is perfect. I don't need to do any other sizing, and in fact, the leaves and flowers down here, they are actually avoiding the little raised bumps. So I think that is perfectly fine. Now what I do need to do is um, I need to resize the top portion because the top portion, if I close the lid and then you'll see that little groove um, where you, you know, place your finger to open the machine, then let me bring this back in real quick. So here at the top of your machine, you'll see that little groove for your fingers so that you can bring the, the machine door open that from side to side that groove is only five and a quarter so it is slightly smaller um, really it doesn't really matter but if you wanted to have it be um, kind of the size of the groove then something that you can do is you can grab a square from your shapes menu and just bring it down and you want to cover that entire top portion and then you're going to select in your layers panel by holding down your shift key the square and the flowers and then you're going to come down here to the bottom and you'll hit slice now this is going to take a minute about almost two minutes to be in uh, full disclosure because um, 
it's a lot of complex lines that it's having to account for. Your machine and computer software may run a lot faster than mine, so I'm just letting you know my experience. I'm gonna go ahead and hit slice. Okay, once it's done with the slice operation, you'll see that you have the square section and I'm gonna move all of these items out of the way. There we go. In fact, I'm going to select those and delete them. I don't need them. And what I've done is I've separated the top from the bottom. Okay, so the original image was originally created by the designer. They obviously cut it in half and then had a belly space here in the middle and connected it all as one item, but I would like it to have two distinct separate things. Now I need to come up to the width and I'm just gonna change that to 5.25. Okay, so I've sized that down a little bit. So my top is the width that I want. The bottom is the width that I want. I do not need, I'm gonna go ahead and hide. I don't need the machine decoration. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to hit the make screen and I need to have my machine chosen up here. Just remember that you cannot do print and cut on the Joy itself, just the Joy Extra. Explore Machines, Maker Machines, and the Venture. Okay, so now everything is popped up on my screen and I do need to come over here and I need to change this to eight and a half by 11. That is the size of my printable vinyl and it'll take a moment to redistribute everything where it needs to go. Now you can see where my mat has been resized down to eight and a half by 11. Now the image here is the top and the bottom and I do not need to mirror anything. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and I'm going to go ahead and send this to my printer. So we're going to select printer. It will connect wirelessly to my machine and I'm going to leave on the bleed and the reason why is that any of the tiny little um, foliage, sprigs, um, stems, etc. They will um, need that bleed buffer around them so the machine can cut them properly. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit print and this will go straight to my printer. Okay, so here you can see that the image has been printed out and this actually looks, um, it doesn't look very sharp and mainly that is because the bleed is on. So it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit wider in print than you would expect, but that is okay because the machine will be cutting based on the bleed and that'll allow for a crisp, clean cut. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to place this printable vinyl here in the top corner of my mat. And then I'm going to brayer that down just like any other sheet of vinyl that I would that I would put on a mat. Okay. Very good. And then something to note is that these black registration marks, this is going to be um, read by the machine and these are going to tell it where to cut. So I'm hoping now that I have recalibrated my machine since it's been so long that this time I will get a really good, clean, crisp cut. So let's go ahead and talk about those cut settings. The first thing I want to do is I need to check or I need to click on printable vinyl white with green liner printing. So that is the one that I have and default pressure is just fine and then everything is the regular fine point blade, load mat, and press the um, load button, and then the go based on the prompts on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out. This is actually going to take um, quite a bit of time, so I will come back on screen when all of this is cut, and that way you don't have to sit here for about, oh, I don't know, five, 10 minutes while it's cutting. 
but um, I will see you in just a moment. Okay, so this is all printed and cut and now for the nerve wracking part because if this, if this does not come out, then I will be sad. Number one and two, it will be back to the drawing board. So, um, the, when I did this for my maker, it worked beautifully and I had such a great experience. So hopefully, um, this will turn out in the same fashion. So the first thing that I'm actually going to, I'm going to cut this off. I think we'll, I just, I feel like it was cutting in weird places, but maybe it's me and I'm just being paranoid. So I am going to, Try and peel up everything that is not cut and see what we have going on. Okay, so some of these smaller sections I think they just need a little bit of coaxing to stay down, which is fine. That's kind of why we have our weeder. So if I were to do this again, maybe I would choose more pressure. But I hated to, you know, overkill. So. Okay, so it's, it actually, it did a pretty good job. You can see that it's cut things out. Um, it really is just a matter of getting the tiny little pieces to stay where they're supposed to stay. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend a minute or two getting this weeded and then we will continue on. Okay, so it really did a nice job. I mean, I had to help some of these tiny little pieces stay down, but overall it did a great job. And, you know, it did different from my maker designs, but um, I'm pretty pleased. I think I got, we have everything. I think there's a little spot over here that I didn't get pulled up. But I think everything has been weeded out that doesn't need to be in there. Right here. Looks good. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, oh, here's another spot. There we go. Okay, there we go. I think we got it all. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other one in the same fashion. And then I'm going to get my transfer tape so that we can put this down on the machine. Okay, that one did great too. I was going back through where I could see some of the bleed lines and pulling out some of those pieces. Let me double check this one as well. 
Um, actually, that looks really good. Okay, so now, well, okay, I'm going to get rid of all of this stickiness. And I'm going to let me grab my paper transfer tape. And then we can bring in our machine and go ahead and get those things cut, um, put onto the machine. So this particular image will be going right here. And this particular image will be going on top. So I'm going to move that one out of the way. And then this one here, let me, let me just move my machine just a little bit. I do need to clean off my machine. We want to make sure that this vinyl is, um, got a nice clean place to land. So question of the day. First of all, I want to know two things. I would like to know what machines you have. So I have the Maker 3, and that's where I do all my print and cut. That's where I do my larger projects. Um, and then I've got the Joy, and I do smaller projects or, you know, those ones that are like super, super fast. You just need something super quick. And so let me pull that up for a minute. Um, so... I have the Joy, and the best thing about it is I have a little carry case for my Joy, and it holds my Joy and mats and tools, and it, it even takes my heat press mini, so I can take everything, I can actually take everything to school, like if I needed my stuff at school for some strange reason, or, you know, we did some t-shirts this year for a teacher group, and was actually very handy. So this is just paper transfer tape. I got this at Expressions Vinyl and I absolutely love it. Um, I don't want to use my brayer too heavy because um, I just I don't want some of the the ink to come off if at all possible. And then we're just going to pull this up like normal. So, so far our project is pretty, pretty similar to using regular vinyl. Okay, and then I'm going to bring my machine close to me so I can get it lined up. And let's see, let me cut this down here. That way I can see the edge of the machine. That would be the only thing there. So I know that in between this notch and this notch is where I want those things to go. So let's, okay, everybody collectively hold our breath and get this to the edge of the machine. Okay, I think I got it in a good spot. This is so exciting. It has taken me, I don't know, weeks to come up with something. I thought about doing something geometric. I thought about doing something about hiking. I thought about flowers, because I really do love flowers. But, oh, back to my questions. First of all, uh, first question was, what machine do you have? Or machines? So I have these two. And then the second question is, do you have your machines decorated? So I did decorate my maker using the same process and it worked really, really well. It was just so easy. And I'm just gonna go slow cause I'm trying not to lift any ink. This is obviously quite saturated from the center of the flower, but it doesn't look like I've, you know, it doesn't look like the image has lost any integrity. But do you have your machines decorated? I would love for you to share um, not only what machines you have, but how you have them decorated. And you know, you could even share some pictures. Well, actually, you'd probably have to put them in the community tab, but if not, a great description is just fine. And oh, that is so pretty. I love the yellow. I love these sunflowers. Just kind of bring that up so you can see it. That looks really pretty. Okay, so 
These are very different than the flowers I used on my maker, but it kind of pays homage to, and I'm trying to decide if I should use this. I'm not gonna use this tape. I'm gonna get a clean sheet because of this right here. So I've got a huge roll, so there's no need for me to save for this type of project. But I think I'm going to cut this down pretty close. There we go. Anyway, I think decorating the machines is so fun. I love it. How much do we need here? If you do have more than one machine, what do you use them for? I use, you know, like I said, this one for, you know, quick, quick, simple projects and school projects. So I love to take it to school. And then, of course, my maker is my big powerhouse. So it just sits here in my craft space. All right, so let's get this. On here I just find it so interesting how different people have different machines and then if they have more than one machine what they use them for okay so there's that Great. okay we're gonna I'm going to close this and I'm going to bring this in and then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to line this up along that this groove right here and again thank you for bearing with me with those uh, really joyful children in the background. So I think that I could if I have to, I could trim something with my true control knife, but I'm trying to not have to do that. I'll get that. I think that's too close to the edge. Okay. All right. see I'm gonna pick this up super fast I just want to see if I like where that placement is I don't think I really have a choice oh yeah that's perfect I got that in a good spot okay so and I'm just using my finger instead of my brayer like I said I don't want to lift too much of the ink so if you haven't tried this paper transfer tape it is a really it is a really nice product. I use it for paper crafting and for things like this where I do the printable vinyl. Actually, I think I'm gonna go this way. Just like I did before. I'm just going slow and steady. And hopefully I will be able to see enough of my LED light, but I don't think it's a big issue if it's a little bit obscured. Okay. Looking good so far. Oh yeah, see, here's my light right up here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't feel I need to cut that out. I mean, I can, but I'm not going to worry about it. At this point in time, I'm just going to see how that goes. That little piece stays down. Good. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I love it. Okay, this was worth the wait. And can I open it? there it is so pretty i am so happy this worked out um it was very nerve-wracking to to 
hope that it would turn out the way I wanted. Okay, well that is the end of this particular project. I hope that you found this video was informative and inspiring and helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a like. That really helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you all so much for your, um, your just your community here. I really appreciate every single one of you and it just makes my heart so happy to have you on board as subscribers. Um, want you to think about maybe decorating your machines that would be a great project and until i see you in the next video happy crafting thank you all so much for watching today i'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table if you're not already i'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you'll know when new videos arrive have a great day and as always happy crafting